Happy New Year, CA Hoops fans. Welcome back to another episode of CA Hoops Weekly, powered by Under Armour. I'm Bobby Broyles, along with Rob Washburn. League play has begun, and if the first weekend of competition indicates anything, Rob, it's that we are in for a very exciting ride to March. Yeah, after the record-setting success that CA teams had during the non-conference portion of the schedule, I think we knew we were in for a very exciting and competitive year, and the opening week of conference play proved that. Northeastern and Hofstra were the only two teams to start with 2-0 marks and there are six teams that went 1-1. Now, if you remember, last year's CAA race featured the first ever four-way tie for the regular season title, and it looks like we could be headed for more of the same this year. The other interesting thing that came out of last week's conference openers was that road teams went 6-4, and, and when you take into account that CAA teams were 47-8 and eight at home in non-conference play, it was surprising to see the success by the visitors. Speaking of Hofstra, the pride will be on their southern road swing this week as we dive into some of the matchups coming up. Hofstra begins its road trip in Charleston to take on the Cougars on Thursday night at 7 o'clock on CA.TV. Yeah, Hofstra was the preseason favorite to win the CA, and they were clicking on all cylinders last week as the pride put up 90 points in both games. Now, Hofstra might have the most weapons offensively of any team in the conference, and they feature three of the top nine scorers in the CA with guards Wanye Green and Brian Bernardi and forward Amin Tanksley. But what stood out in their 90 to 58 road win at Towson last Saturday was a defense that limited the Tigers to 35% field goal shooting and their 44 34 rebounding advantage over one of the top ranked rebounding teams in the nation. Now, College of Charleston has made quite a turnaround in its second season under Coach Earl Grant. The Cougars were 8-3 in non-conference play, including a home win over LSU, and started CA play with an impressive 65-62 victory at James Madison. Guard Kenyon Berry has been sensational, leading the league in scoring with 20 points per game, and hopefully he'll be able to recover from a shoulder injury suffered at William & Mary last Saturday. But the biggest change for the Cougars has been the play of a pair of freshmen. Jarrell Brantley scored a career-high 29 points on 13-14 of 14 field goal shooting at JMU and leads all CA rookies in scoring and rebounding. A Marquise Pointer had a career-high 23 points at William & Mary and made the game-winning layup at JMU. Then on the American Sports Network and CA.TV this Saturday at 6, the Pride head to Elon to take on the Phoenix. If you like three-point <laughs> shooting, then this will be your game to watch. No question about that, Bobby. Elon ranks ninth in the nation with 10.5 three-pointers made per game and has hit 10, at least 10 in nine of their 15 contests. Now, leading the charge for the Phoenix is senior Tanner Sampson, who is Elon's career three-point leader, is knocked down league-high 49 trays this season. But three talented freshmen have also added to the Elon arsenal, as Danon Swoop has made 34 threes, and Steven Santa Anna and Tyler Sebring have knocked down 24 apiece. Now, Hofstra's averaging 9.7 threes per game and is making nearly 40% of its shots from beyond the arc. Four different players have hit at least 20 trays, but nobody does it better than Brian Bernardi, who's made 46 shots from long range and ranks 8th in the nation in three-point accuracy at 48%. Expect a high-scoring shootout in this one. Also on Saturday at 4 on CA.TV, it will be a rematch of last year's CA championship game when William & Mary plays host to Northeastern. Yeah, there will be a lot of familiar faces on the floor as both of these teams re return the majority of their starters from a year ago, but both had to replace their top players in tribe guard Marcus Thornton and Huskies forward Scott Atherton. Now, Northeastern got off to an impressive start in CA play with road victories at Elon and UNCW last week. Senior Quincy Ford, who was the MOP of last year's CA tournament, has been on fire lately, scoring a career-high 30 points at Elon and fallen with 18 points and 14 rebounds at UNCW. The Huskies have also gotten a big, yard, big year from guard David Walker, who is second in the league in scoring with 19 points per game. Now, William & Mary split a pair of CA games at home last week, but put together its best non-conference record in over 30 years, which included a season-opening victory at NC State. Junior Omar Pruitt has scored in double figures in every game this season and poured in 26 points in the victory over College of Charleston on Saturday. The Tribe also features guard Daniel Dixon, who's, gained, who's drained 39 threes, and forward Terry Tarpey, who leads the CA in steals and blocks in his third in rebounding. These two teams are quality teams, and it would be no shock to see either one or even both playing in the CA championship game once again. Now here's a look at the rest of this week's action around CA men's basketball. March Madness is coming, and it all starts in Baltimore. The 2016 CAA Men's Basketball Championship is back at the Royal Farms Arena, March 4 through 7. Take advantage of the weekend with a money-saving fan pack. 
You'll receive a room at your choice of hotels, two harbor passes, two admissions to the Power Plant Live Fan Fest, and an opportunity to purchase discount tickets for the championship. Experience March Madness. Experience Baltimore. Find your fan pack now at Baltimore.org. CASports.com has all the television clearance information you need for this week, and CA.TV will be at it again Saturday with ASN simulcast of Hofstra and Elon. And of course, CASports.com will have all the information you need regarding links to live stats, video, and audio coverage. You can also continue to follow the league on Facebook and Instagram by searching CA Sports. We're also on Twitter specifically for hoops content by following at CA Basketball using the hashtag CA Hoops. That's all from us today. Tune back in Thursday as Kelly McCarthy returns for the women's edition of CA Hoops Weekly, powered by Under Armour. Enjoy the games this week.